the region has earned this unenviable title of being one of the world's most dangerous waterways. And that narrative has to change. Pirates have different modus of operandi. They act in different ways, depending on what they think will be successful. There were times we used to have pirates who uh, bought ships and siphoned fuel, and then find a way of selling it into the mainstream of distribution. That again evolved. We, we, we had incidents where um, they go on board the ship, kidnap people for ransom. The Gulf of Guinea is laden with a number of resources. We have hydrocarbons, we have fish on land, we have gold, timber. All these have to be exported. The statistics indicate that more than 80% of trade comes through the sea. Um, some even say no shipping, no shopping. And because of piracy, ships are reluctant to come to the Gulf of Guinea. Knock-on effect, reduced imports and exports. And so prices of goods go up. There are other threats, but piracy has taken the spotlight because of its immediate wide-ranging impact. We have uh, actions that we are taking. Um, at the national level, for instance, we conduct robust patrols. We try to maintain presence at sea. The devil finds work for the idle hands. So if people don't have work to do, uh, the tendency is for them to resort to crime. And being a coastal nation, one of the crimes includes piracy. Most of the people along the coastal communities only know fishing. And if the fishing industry is destroyed, opportunities to go into other areas are very narrow. Before I started fishing, we have, we have so many catch. Four boxes each. Four boxes each. By one week, one person will get about 10 or 12 boxes. But right now, you can't get even one box for one month. So right now, the work is dying. The sea is dying. The sea is dying. Two boats with one net. They throw from here to about two, 10 miles away. All the fish around that area will be captured into the net. That is how they do. They catch fish about 30 to 50 or 60 tons. While we the canoe, we can't catch even one ton. It is hard to go to fishing when you are pulling the net without fish. Always something will come to your mind. Ah, what am, what am I going to do? What do you talk to yourself? You ask yourself, what am I going to do today?
we here in Ghana, we want to learn from what happened in Somalia. Um, a lot of illegal fishing went on and the fishermen could not get fish and so they resorted to piracy. We don't want a similar thing to happen here. So uh, much as we are tackling piracy, we are also looking at the various courses uh, that facilitate piracy, if you like. to maintain the momentum, to make the Gulf of Guinea a safe place for mariners, to allow the what we call the blue economy to blossom to the benefit of everyone in the region.